welcome back everyone, Twishes here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. Today we're going to be checking out two brand new Walmart gold label exclusives. Happened to my local Walmart shortly after coming home from Comic-Con, and lo and behold, they were sitting on the shelves, so I took some home, and we're going to have a proper looks-see. First and foremost, we have our newest speedster to our DC Multiverse line, the Max Mercury himself. Didn't know much about old Max, did some research, bit of a time-traveling speedster using the Speed Force, known by many different names, but you can call him Max Mercury, and here's his barcode if you want to go ahead and search Walmart. Next up, we have Vampire Shazam, or how I will be referring to him as in this video, the Shazampire, huh? Because I'm creative like that. He hails from the DC vs. Vampires line, which has been plaguing Walmart stores for about the last year and a half or so. Maybe closer to two years. It's kind of running out of steam, to be honest with you. But should be fun, nonetheless. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at two brand new Walmart Gold Label exclusives, Max Mercury and the Shazampire by McFarlane Toys. And hey, while I got all you vampires here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? We got old toys. We got new toys. We got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you'll like. So we will go ahead and kick it off with everything out of the box for old Max Mercury. And yes, he will come with several speedster electrical effects we've seen these before they're gummy but rigid at the same time so they're not going to be sagging all over the place you get two smalls two bigs and you basically get to kind of plop these clip these on wherever your speedster hearts desire and i will say this that they clip fairly well if you get it in the right spot let's be honest with you but regardless, it's nice to have at least something to add to your figure. He doesn't come with a flight stand, unfortunately, but if you have an extra one and you get him into a running position and then you put all those speed effects all over him, that makes for a display, I will say. That's pretty darn cool. And with Max Mercury himself, I got to give it to him. That's a pretty darn good head portrait. I am impressed. I loves it. Except for the fact they're kind of taking the Marvel Legends route where they're having an overly sculpted Beautiful head portraits, and then a simplistic body. At least he's got chest hair for days. They've painted that on. The figure itself, uh, let's say the upper parts diaphragm is new, especially around the back. You get to see all the different folds in the cloth, and then you have that spawn kind of collar to it. The gloves, I think, are new, new-ish. You can help me out. Looks new to me, but the rest of the body is just reuse. And... I will say this, while it is reuse, there's enough new parts there to really bring Max Mercury to life, especially that awesome head portrait. So for that alone, I think they've done a great job with Max Mercury. I wasn't asking for a Max Mercury figure, let's be honest with you, but I think they've succeeded in doing a good exclusive because a lot of you out there might fall into that of being like, yeah, I'd like to add a new character, but I don't really know who this is. Plenty of McFarlane articulation, nothing new, nothing crazy. You can get him into all the running positions. Head will go all the way up, side to side, yada, yada. The color is pretty darn sweet. I actually really like this figure, and I just really thought nothing of it. Next up, with Shazampire, you got the whole clawed hands. This is kind of funny, interesting. One hand is just drenched in blood. The other one, not so much. Do I like that? I think it's interesting. Would I have preferred more blood overall, both hands? Yeah, ideally, it is a, a vampire. I think the more blood, the merrier. But if you look at the hands as opposed to the fisted hands, yeah, the more clawed hands, the one with the blood, that's going to be a whole heck of a lot more interesting when you go to display him. In terms of the head portrait, the overall look for this Shazampire, if you showed me this and said, who is this character? You didn't see the body or anything? I'd be like, I have no idea. That's what apparently Billy Batson Shazam looks like in the DC vs. Vampires covers. 
Sure, why not? At least they went a lot more vampire than zombie this time around. So he has a great monster face to him. I like his tattered cape as well. Overall, that's pretty darn cool. It hangs well. It looks good. He has that arterial blood spray all over the front of him right there. And then with the exception of the one claw in hand with the blood... That's where the blood fun stops. And I will say this for a line DC versus vampires, have some fun with it. I mean, really load them up with the blood, have some sinister carnage going on. They do it okay, and they have done it a lot more in the past, but. This one, much like the last couple releases, they're kind of okay-ish. He doesn't come with a flight stand, but plop him into one. Give him Max Mercury's electrical effects here, and bingo bango, he's calling down the wrath of the gods. And nothing's more terrifying than a vampire Shazam with powers. Look at just floating there, wanting to eat you. That's pretty interesting. Now, in terms of the scalature with all the other DC Multiverse figures in your collection, sure... Yeah, these will go nicely. We all know how scale goes, but I will say this. Sure, Superman and his Shazam Pyre, those will go together nicely. Max Mercury and Flash, those will definitely go together nicely. So overall, yeah, it's a win-win. Just to see Max with a couple other characters, Impulse, Green Lantern. Of course, you have the guy that kind of ruined those crisis movies that just came out, <laughs> even though I really like John Constantine, but oh, those, those movies. Woof. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Walmart gold label exclusives, the Shazam from DC vs. Vampires and Max Mercury, the time traveling speedster. Max wins this Hands down, I think they did a great job with him. The Shazam Pyre is still a fun figure, but both of these in totality are going to be ones where most people are going to go, hmm, this might be a pass. But if you do like some and you want to get them, hey, they're not too shabby of some figures at all, especially for exclusives. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We're going to have some fun with some Batman the Animated Series and more DC Multiverse coming next week. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.